Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Today's game's brought to you by EA Sports and ESPN. We've got the Central Michigan Chippewas and the Vanderbilt Commodores. The home to the Country Music Hall of Fame. We're in Nashville, Tennessee, but today we've got some good football for you. This one has the makings of a real tight ball game. When you've got two teams so closely matched, you look for your clutch players to step up and make the difference. For Central Michigan, the quarterback has got to keep tabs on this outstanding linebacker. He could be the key to completely disabling their rushing attack. Their main running back doesn't have the skills to be able to get by him. Now we head to midfield for the coin toss and remind you that today's game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Caught at the eight. Makes it to the 22-yard line. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. This drive will start at the 22. The halfback with a carry. Tackled after decent pickup. That's four yards on the play. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. They'll keep it on the ground again. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Defense! 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 He wants it all going long. Can't connect. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. So they're going to go for it here. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. Play fake. Looking deep. He caught it. And he's brought down at the 27. They really got beat by the deep pass. Against man-to-man -man coverage like that, it's just a foot race. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. They'll throw on first down. The pass falls incomplete. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and From 10. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Drops back to pass. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Third down now, they need to get it to the 17. And he 
gets hit before it can go anywhere. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. And this play is number eight on the drive. First down. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. He's got the corner. He fights forward to about the 10. They get a yard on the play. The defense called the blitz at the right time. They were able to come after the running back before he went for big yards. it right and can't get away nice tackle a yard maybe two on the carry that was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there third and seven coming up here ball on the eight yard line here's a handoff and he's brought down right away and that's the end of the first quarter and we've got a tie ball game It's fourth down, and they'll line up for the short field goal. This one from 22. Central Michigan is looking to go up by three. And they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Central Michigan. Kick this one off. He pushes it up there. And he just got drilled. This drive will start at the 29-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Toss right, and he'll lose yards. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense, and he's releasing a safety to stop the run. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And he is drilled at the 17-yard line. And they get a nice defensive play. Well, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. He drops back. And they got him. And that'll get him fired up. Wow, this defense is playing. That's a great three and out. Tough to get anything going against this kind of pressure. Didn't get all of that one. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. That was great offensive production. Everything really came together for them on that last drive. And he got it to the sophomore. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Yeah. 
It's first down. They'll line it up at the 12. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. On the run. Touchdown, Chippewas. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. yard line he makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line they couldn't get anything going on that last drive first down 10 to go ball on their own 20 throws complete he's got space to work they'll bring him down around the 32 yard line the offense calls a timeout wide and now the ball is loose and they fall on the loose ball and they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble from their own 22 yard line second down Catch it? He did. It's intercepted. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. Well, we played a half of football, and our score is Central Michigan, 10, Vanderbilt, nothing. Number Central Michigan is set Michigan. to kick this ball off to start the second half. He's to the 10, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. From their own 21-yard line, first down. Brought down at the 21-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and 10. Try to change the play. Got an opening. Tackle at the 43. Well, I think this time he knew he was probably going to take a shot, but he hung in until the last moment and delivered a catchable ball. That's exactly what you want to see from your field general. They hand it off again. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? You better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. They're calling an audible. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 48. He gets another carry. And he carries the ball for a nice game. 
five yards. That brings up third and ten. Try to change the play. And they get the sack. The quarterback came out of nowhere. I don't even think the quarterback knew he was blitzing. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. It's a short kick. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. And he has it on the corner. And he's brought down to the 36-yard line. Great timing to call the run right there, and it paid off in a big way. First and ten, let's see if they can build off that great run. He gets another carry. The 10. Touchdown. Big play. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. at the five makes it to the 22 yard line the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play runs it left for a decent game they'll get six yards that'll make it second and four He may have changed things up here. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. So the halfback loses about two on the run. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Central Michigan, 18, Vanderbilt, nothing. We've got a second and 11. Caught, and this is gonna be a first down. He's taken down at the 24. He drops back. He heaves it to the end zone. 
incomplete pass. Number 23 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From the 24-yard line, second down. over the middle to the fullback. Big play, and it's first and goal. Now, the passing game is a lot easier for a quarterback when two corners aren't in coverage. I respect the gutsy call on the defensive side to blitz both corners, but it left him too vulnerable against the pass. The pass is incomplete. Number 27, the intended receiver. We're at play number nine of this current drive. It's second down. Looks to pass. And they got it. I'm really not so sure what he's waiting for. He had some open receivers. He's going to have to pin that one on himself. Third and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He drops back. Pressure got to him, and it's picked off. Look at them go! Tackle made right around the 10-yard line. Great play there by the defense. They forced the quarterback into throwing his second interception of the day. Well, he wishes he could have that one back. Not a good pass that time, but great recognition by this defense to come up with the interception. It's first down. Here we go from the nine. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Second down on the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They got four yards on that one. Good for a gain of four yards. That makes it third and goal. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Toss. Nice run, and he's brought down. They get five yards on the play. Fourth down, and this one's a chip shot, about 20 yards out. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Central Michigan to kick. He sends this ball low to the ground. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 31. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. Turnovers are so frustrating. I still don't think the last one was the quarterback's fault, but they need to avoid giving the ball away. Complete pass. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Looking to throw. This one is batted away. Number 81 is the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third and 10 coming up. the corner and now he's got room to run and they 
Bring him down. At the 44. The offense calls a timeout. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. He's tackled at the 49. The offense calls a timeout. That brings up third and 14. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. They go to the ground and he stops short. This one's in the books and our final score, Central Michigan, 21, Vanderbilt, nothing. Now it's time to present the Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, which is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, Brad, very, very disappointing performance today by the offense. Vanderbilt was held scoreless for this entire game, and I don't think they expected that. They need to re-examine this offense and figure out how they can put some more points on the board. And for winning today's player of the game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 11. Thanks for being with us. For my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews and EA Sports, Brad Nessler saying goodbye.